WWDC 2022 had some very exciting stuff announced for Mac gamers. But Apple forgot to mention one of the most important new technologies coming to macOS Ventura later in the year. Metal Performance HUD. Performance HUD is an on-screen overlay. It allows you to monitor gameplay performance with real-time stats and logging, memory usage, resolution, CPU and GPU render time, and frame presentation deadlines. You might be saying, where the heck did you find this, Mr. MacRite? Well, I was casually looking for new technology for Metal 3 on Apple's website and noticed the Metal Performance HUD. I was very curious and started digging for it. Using Hopper Disassembler, I was able to discover how it works on Mac through Terminal. And today, I'm going to show you how to use it on your Apple Silicon Mac. Some important things to note about Performance HUD. It requires the macOS Ventura beta, or later in the year, the macOS Ventura full release. It's in early development right now, so some data shown may not always be accurate. It supports native Apple Silicon games and Rosetta 2 games. It does not support games optimized for OpenGL and OpenCL. You cannot change the size or the position of the HUD right now. It requires extra steps for games that require a game client, i.e. on Steam, Epic Games, or GOG. First, let's try it with Definity Original Sin 2. With the game installed on Steam, go into the game's root folder by browsing the game's local files. Now, right-click on the game and press Show Package Contents. From here, find the macOS folder. Right-click this folder and click New Terminal at Folder. Now type in the string export mtl underscore hud underscore enabled equals one. Press return or enter on your keyboard. Type dot slash, then press tab on your keyboard to link it to the Definity Original Sin 2 executable file. Now press return or enter on your keyboard and the game will launch. And after you fully enter the game, the performance HUD should appear. For games that have a few files in the macOS folder, like Metro Exodus, you can just manually type in the game's executable file name. Some games on Steam are missing their application ID. It's important for this file to be located in the game's root folder or macOS folder for the performance HUD to work. For example, Dying Light won't work with the performance HUD as it can't find its app ID. To fix this, you need to find the application's ID from the game's Steam page on a web browser. Copy the game's ID from the URL and paste it in a blank text edit document. Then, within text edit, go to Format and choose Make Plain Text. From here, save the file and name it Steam underscore App ID dot txt. Then, save it to Downloads or wherever you can easily get it to then put it in the macOS folder. Now, try opening the game again with Terminal and the Performance HUD, and it should hopefully work correctly, as you can see here with Dying Light.
You can also use the Performance HUD for iPhone and iPad games, available on Apple Silicon via the Mac App Store. It's a slightly different process, however. Find the game in your Applications folder. I'm playing Sky Children of the Light from the Mac App Store. Right-click the app and press New Terminal at Folder. Now enter the string again. Export MTL underscore HUD underscore enabled equals one. Press return or enter on your keyboard. Now type CD dot dot, press return or enter on your keyboard, then type open, then type down the game's file name followed by dot app. Press return or enter on your keyboard and bam, the game launches with the performance HUD. This works for both games that run in portrait mode, landscape mode, and different aspect ratios. There is sometimes an annoying bug when using Performance HUD. Some games launch at 24 Hz, or your Mac's native resolution, or external monitor's native resolution, when using different display modes in game. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, there is a possible fix for this. I don't know if it's going to fix it for everyone, but it, it's, it helped me in many circumstances. You can go into System Preferences and find Displays. Hold down Option on your keyboard and click Scaled to reveal more resolutions. Now click Show All Resolutions and choose a desired resolution for your game with low resolution on the end. For example, 1920 by 1080 low resolution. This might, I'm just saying might, launch the game at 60 hertz or whatever refresh rate your monitor supports or the desired resolution that you want a game to launch at. And that's all there is to say. I have no idea why Apple didn't show off Performance HUD at WWDC 2022. It's an insanely powerful tool for developers to optimize their games for macOS. It's great for tech enthusiasts too who want to see how a game performs on Mac. Anyway, I really hope you find this tool useful. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.